in cast. There seems to be a lot of wives' tales about the Dreamcast and what it's capable of and what it's not capable of and what it can do and what it can't do. And which dev kit is best? And is Wincy slow? Or was it just the developers who are inexperienced who were drawn to it because they could get their game running in two weeks or less where Katana they'd have to actually learn the Dreamcast hardware and so attracted more experienced developers or people with slightly more brains upstairs that invested time into a system and so Katana games look like they're better or more optimized letting it sink in Win CE development kit has a fully optimized SH4 pipeline by Microsoft. It has a better version of DirectX with bump mapping, bump mapping support. It takes care of most of it for you, but the devs still were PC devs that some of them weren't very experienced and were attracted to it because they thought all they had to do was click a few buttons and it's ported. This is not the fault of the Wincy SDK for Dreamcast being so good that an average dev could get your game running on it. It just meant, oh, it's on there, it's running, that's good enough. But they didn't bother to optimize it or use the Dreamcast hardware like it was designed to use. This has got nothing to do with WinCE being slow. In fact, the examples on WinCE and Katana run within a bee's dick of each other. The fill rate is the same, or slightly better on WinCE because the SH4 pipeline is more optimized by a more competent company because the Katana dev kit is basically, well, it's if you say it's Sega, it's more NEC and one particular guy, Carlos, who did every single example in there is Carlos. And they weren't written for Dreamcast, they were ports for the PVR graphics card and for NEC. Where the WinCE dev kit was specially and locally and written the version of it just for Dreamcast. It wasn't just a slap bang port. The whole thing has a full network stack unlike the Katana version and is an extremely good development kit if you're not just a slap bang porter who just used the basics to get the game running. You could do all the optimizations you could do on Katana on WinCE if you got your little fingers and pulled them out of your rear end. The same could be said for Callistos Chaos. I mean, would you judge Callistos Chaos on an SDL port? Or some second year university student's game? You shouldn't. This has been Ian Michael signing out. And I'll see you in a future... video.